to calculate percentage increase in salary and uh, we have two example we will discuss two example in this training uh, the first example will uh, with the help of first example we will find how much salary per in percentage we, uh, we get the increase or decrease and the se second example will help us to find the uh, in, uh, you know the actual amount if we have the percentage uh, if, if we got the uh, uh, approval in percentage uh, to increment uh, for the increment of the uh, of any individual so once we are going to uh, uh, apply the percentage uh, on the basic salary to get the new basic salary and the total salary for an individual this training is recorded on the android excel uh, application the formula and the procedure of the calculation will be same exactly as we do on the desktop version so you don't need to worry about it uh, how you can apply this formula on the desktop version so for that uh, uh, you can follow this in these instructions so you can follow you can apply the desktop version the same formula the same procedure to further your calculation so I'm going to clear these data and uh, to you know have the uh, uh, to start this uh, first example and I will explain you uh, if you want to learn uh, how to increase 10 percent uh, uh, person 10 percent or uh, increment or the more uh, option you want as per your requirement so you have to understand understand first example that then second example will be easier for you so first uh, watch uh, how you can calculate the percentage uh, increase in your salary so the basic formula you will find here and you can uh, easily apply this uh, uh, advanced formula to calculate the percentage uh, uh, for the uh, for, for to calculate the increased salary uh, in percentage if we have the in percentage so now i'm going to you know put some uh, salary amount over here quickly to start this training right now like 26000 and uh, 50000 approx 860000 and something like this random numbers and any random number so now uh, the basic salary we already updated over here we have some uh, uh, allowances also available uh, in each uh, salary so we have to mention the, the allowance amount uh, separately some has a huge allowance or some has a few allowance option so we should have to mention over here so the total salary we have uh, for each individual is plus allowances similar as you uh, uh, drag the formula in each in excel desktop version you can drag the formula uh, over here but this is not the process to drag the formula you have to select the cell then you have to select the fill option let me show you again you have to select the cell then you have to click the flip option fill option once you drag this uh, so you will get the result in uh, other cell as well and the formula is already you know uh, calculate other uh, salary and with the allowance so the total salary we already had it so now uh, let's consider we have a uh, few uh, we have salary of uh, 35,000 33,000 and some random numbers but like this so now we are going to put the formula uh, we already uh, have the numbers over here the basic salary allowance and total salary mostly this uh, calculation done by the empl uh, you know employees to have uh, to get to know how much percentage they get uh, in their increment uh, so <clears throat> this is for them but if you want to uh, cal uh, calculate the sorry if you want to calculate the per percentage uh, you means you have the per salary and you want to increase the salary in percentage so you have to apply the second example but you have to understand the first example first so formula is very simple the formula is uh, let me uh, tell you one more thing this is the uh, you know excel and write version and uh, i have given multiple training on percentage calculation 
here you can see we already give a few multiple trainings on the percentage calculation change of percentage percentage charts pie chart and multiple charts also as well we start this training from the basic of uh, calculation of the percentage formula then we start uh, we uh, go for a little bit advanced level let's uh, say we uh, calculate the percentage of examination result and we have the drop down option also available here once we select the uh, mid term or th third term uh, examination results so we get the percentage over here uh, and we also discuss multiple example over here uh, you can see the basic uh, calculation of percentage then the, we explain many times uh, uh, in different ways on different data the calculation of percentage and we also create some charts to show you how it's work and uh, so I want uh, you to, if you want to learn uh, uh, multiple, uh, you know, if you want to learn the complete training of uh, Microsoft Excel uh, the, about the percentage calculations, you have to, wa you can watch these videos. So I'm going to apply the formula over here. And one more thing, if you want to, uh, if you want to have this uh, application on your cell phone, as uh, you know, this is very useful Excel uh, application because uh, most of the Excel application are paid uh, and this, uh, most of the have, you know, ad versions means you, uh, once you are using it, you will have the ads on your screen so this is the free application and you can have uh, from the play store this is you can see over here the microsoft official application it's a free of ads and it's a free version of uh, given by the microsoft uh, official uh, you know organization so they provide it uh, on the uh, uh, app stores as well and the android uh, store as well so you can have it over there, uh, from there so it's free free to download so now i'm going to apply the basic formula of the calculation uh, the formula uh, let me sh explain you the formula the formula we already discussed over here uh, in this example uh, let me show you so, so once you understand the formula so you can uh, uh, easily able to uh, apply the uh, over here so, so we have the both values we need to actually the, the formula need uh, two values the old value and the new value so the new value and the old value uh, will be subtracted from each other and the answer will be divided with the old value and then we will multiply with the hundred but this formula uh, will uh, you know uh, apply in the excel in a different way so let's see how we can apply this formula on the excel so here we have uh, is equal to open brackets then we will have new salary and now we have to subtract from the uh, allowances because we are we, the normally the salary increment uh, applies on the basic salary only if they uh, increase your allowances so they will ha they have they will mention on your you know pay slip or uh, your uh, you know uh, promotion letter so <coughs> then you have to subtract the uh, old value which is b6 minus sorry bracket then minus b6 then divide uh, then close bracket divide with the b6 so here you will have the percentage of increment so here you can see how you calculate the percentage increase in salary in uh, on your your excel on a extra version or your uh, cell phone version so the formula will be same so i'm going to uh, apply this formula in all the cells so you will have the result in each cell here you can see the salary increase but the but uh, due to uh, allowances amount the, uh, this uh, you know total salary is decreases so they increase the salary uh, the actually the amount of the basic salary was 50,000 and the total salary, the total new salary is uh, is lesser than the total salary. So here you can see they didn't get the increment actually, they get the, uh, you know, uh, negative impact on their salary because the, uh, after the uh, amount allowances calculation their salary is uh, lesser than the total salary pre as previous one so this is the calculation of uh, how uh, you can calculate the increase in salary or the decrease in salary to find a percentage the second example is uh, you know different from the first example so for that we have to clear this uh, uh, calculation and i will explain you how you can find the uh, 
uh, salary if you have the percentage uh, on your you know given like mostly mostly companies give the percentage to increase the amount of the salary and from the basic so they are, uh, they give uh, the numbers in percentage to increase the each person as salary like some have uh, some will get the 10 percent some will get the five percent some will get 15 percent so i'm going to clear these data and uh, uh, now going to quickly add the amount of the salary manually or we can apply the formula of random so we can apply random formula over here uh, is equal to random is equal to random random between so let's say 25,000 to 65,000 so once we sorry this was a uh, all right we can clear it and apply over here keyboard is equal to let me quickly add the numbers over here so we will uh, we can we will have the uh, formulas in the cells 45,000 to 85,000 so I'm going to copy uh, I'm going to apply this formula in all the cells for other employees so you can see we can you know drag the formula and we get will get the uh, uh, accordingly so i'm going to get the uh, total salary for the uh, previous one for that i have to calculate uh, salary and the allowances and once we add it so we'll get the so answer is available over here so let, let me fill this answer in other cells as well the formula uh, will be available in other cell as well once you drag it so now i'm going to put like uh, some different percentage like 10 percent 10 percent and uh, 15 percent 5 percent 10 percent and 20 percent he is a lucky person he got the increment as 20 percent so the increase amount so the increase amount we will get means that the the actual amount how much amount he get additionally uh, from the previous one so for that i have to calculate uh, apply the formula the formula is very simple just you need to multiply this cell the increase percentage with the basic salary so he is getting 5642.3 additionally uh, from the previous sec uh, previous salary <coughs> now i want to have the new basic salary the new basic salary will be new basic salary is sorry yes the new basic salary will be uh, the basic salary multiply with the sorry let me add some brackets over here new basic salary will be the basic salary multiply with the uh, sorry multiply with the percentage and plus plus uh, plus again basic salary so the new basic salary this is not the total salary this is the new basic salary you understand this is the new basic salary means that this is uh, this salary is without allowances now you want to have all the amount together like you want to have new salary with the allowances so for that you have to apply a formula over here as is equal to and then you have to you need brackets the basic salary you can calculate like this but if you don't have uh, these numbers you can apply like if you add these 
allowances and the basic salary so you will get the new basic salary with the allowances a new total salary but you can apply you know a complete formula for your understanding let me make it undo these number are you know with the help of total uh, of uh, copy and then paste so now we have these numbers as uh, Pace special as pace as a value. So now we you can see we, we can use this uh, Excel uh, for as a normal desktop version Excel. So I'm going to apply a quickly a formula to get the salary uh, with the help of uh, basic salary and the percentage only and just previous allowances. So multiply with the the base, old basic salary multiply with the incremental amount incremental percentage then bracket then plus the basic salary and then close bracket okay give me a second plus uh, basic salary then plus allowances and here we got the so you need to have bracket over here so here you can see we have the uh, so I want you to subscribe my channel I'm going to you know apply this formula on all uh, uh, for the all employees you are requested to please subscribe my channel if you learn something please leave a comment what you uh, what you learned and if you want if you are searching some other uh, you know exercises or uh, something else so please uh, comment me I will respond you don't forget to like my video I really recommend you to watch a complete video uh, and if you want to learn more about percentage calculation so you can have multiple options available here you can calculate uh, uh, you can start from the basic to have advanced calculation of percentage change of percentage and you can create charts so I hope you like this video please uh, leave a comment right now and don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching